Shalom. First and foremost, call Hello Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which is all praises to the Most High, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, peace be upon the house of David, by all Shah Dawada, which is the elect. All right, the uh, men, women, and children that are elected to be saved, starting with the 144,000 prophets, the men that's spoken of in Revelations uh, the seventh chapter, all right, and the one third, um, the rest of the one third men, women, and children that believes on Yahweh Shai, um, and that's uh, staying in the Holy Spirit to the best of their ability, day in and day out. All right, um, just wanted to do a quick, um, you know, lesson on the way to camp. Basically, uh, on the topic of uh, this is a business, all right? Because you know what we're doing, you know, uh, speaking, you know, of the uh, of the men who um, has have has this truth and that has to, you know, that goes out and teaches truth. Um, you know, which should be, you know, it should it should be in your spirit to want to, you know, teach this truth to, uh, you know, carry this truth out, uh, especially if you are a man. But you know. You have to realize that this is a business, okay? Because the Lord set it up to where, you know, He gave you an, a, a, a commandment, all right? He gave you an order, all right? Which, you know, He started with the um, 12 disciples, you know, told them to what? To go preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, okay? So, you know, um, and if you, you know, just like in any business, if you're not, um, if you're not, you know, working, you know, to the best of your ability, if you're not um, profiting the company, you know, which is the body of Yahweh Shah, which is the kingdom of heaven, then, you know, you're going to get um, fired, laid off, suspended. You know, there's going to be consequences, man, straight up, all right? And, and what you have to realize is that, you know, although you have a brotherhood, although you have, um, you know, um, a brothers that you've grown accustomed to uh, 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 a bond with, you know, if a brother's not holding his, his end of the bargain, you know, if he's not, um, you know, working out, and helping the kingdom of heaven, then you know that brother got to get got to get uh, cut off, man. You know, you know, just like like I said, just like in any business, what what does a boss do? You know, a boss, yeah, he, he brings him into the office, he sits him down. You know, if you got a slacker, if you got a um, a lazy or not productive uh, employee, okay, you, you bring him into the office, you talk to him about it. But you know, if he's not um, if he's not you know correcting his ways, then you gotta what? You gotta you gotta let him go, man. You know, so you got to realize that the thing that you win, man, is a business. And, and that's how that's how even Yahweh Shai, you know, that's how he even looked at, at what he was doing, man, as a as a uh, as a business. All right. Because the Heavenly Father sent him on the on the scene to do his his work. All right. To do his will. So we get this uh, first scripture. Um, this is uh, Luke chapter two. Verse uh, forty five. Around there, I'm starting at 48. It says, And when they saw him, him being Yahweh Shai, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou dealt with uh, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought sought thee sorry. And he said unto them, How is it that how is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not know? Wist ye know? Salah, wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? Okay? So, you know, his father, you know, at this age, you know, Yahweh Shah was like around 12 years old, you know, coming into his manhood, and his mother and father was uh, seeking after him because, you know, he basically strayed off. If you read the story, he strayed off from them, you know, and he was, you know, uh, in the temple, basically amongst, you know, the, um, the Pharisees and the uh, people in the temple um, basically asking him questions and you know gaining gaining knowledge you know and his mother and father was asking him like yo where'd you go and he was like and he and they said he said unto them like yo we, me and your father was seeking after you we were so, so I'm being sorrowful and he was like why are you being sorrowful like don't you know I gotta be about my father's business you know so you're gonna have to um just like how y'all was shy the thing that he was doing kind of it made his parents you know sor sorrowful but he had a greater business to attend to, man. So just like we do, man. Yeah, you know, we got family, you know. Uh, we got uh, children or, or, or girlfriends that would want us to be with them, you know, spend more time with them. But we have a greater business to attend to, all right? And that's the mentality that you got to have, man, you know. The Lord wants uh, um, employees 
which goes back to the word servants, which goes back to the word ministers. So it's all the same thing. We're the Lord's ministers, servants, uh, employees. He wants he wants um, good employees, man. All right. You know, once you, uh, how does a good employee get promoted? You know, he, he does what? He's a hard worker, man. He's always there. Okay. He's always, uh, um, you know, profiting the business, profiting, you know, the uh, the corporation, which in this corporation is the body of Yahweh Shai, all right? Working towards the kingdom of heaven, okay? So that's the same thing that we got to do, man, all right? If you're not profiting, if you're not working towards the kingdom of heaven, if you're not, you know, being a hard, diligent worker, then, you know, you're not, you're not, um, you're not impressing, you know, your employer, man, which is Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. You're not impressing him. And then, you know, ultimately, you know, he's going to have to, cut ties with you all right so this is um romans chapter um 10 verse 11 it says not slothful in business fervent in spirit serving the lord man so you can't be slothful man you can't be a lazy servant you can't be a, a lazy employee man all right you go wake up every day you get your ass to work to go work for esau but when it comes to doing the works of the heavenly father you know you want to be lazy all right you want to have excuses you want to just stroll in whenever you want to come in man all right because you know what because the lord is long suffering you taking advantage of that but guess what man the scripture says that the lord is not uh 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 does not is not slow he's slow to anger but what he's not at all going to quit the wicked man so if you being if you being wicked in your dealings all right in your work all right if you being slow in your work you know you're trying to take advantage of the boss all right because he's not there right in front of you Guess what, man? The Lord got your number, man. Straight up, and the Lord sees everything. All right, you, 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 uh, you trying to um short, short change the uh the boss. You trying to, you know, um, you know, waste, uh, eat up the clock, you know, so to speak. You know, uh, uh, you know how you you stroll in a couple minutes late at work, you know, and, and and know that your boss might not say nothing. You know, you can't do that to the Lord, man, because. Hey, the Lord says serve him with fear and trembling, all right? And he also says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living power, man, okay? So you got to you got to have that mindset that oh, this is a business, man. This is this is the Lord's business and I understand that if I don't do his if I don't if I'm not working hard working towards his business, man, he going to cut me off and that and that cut off ain't no ain't no just getting laid off, man. Your cut off is death, man, straight up. That's a, that's 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 you being fired, man. Literally fired, cause you gonna be in fire. All right, the lake of fire, man. All right. So I'm gonna get another scripture. This is um, John chapter four. Start at verse third. Uh, see what I don't know exactly where it's at. Uh, John chapter four, verse uh, thirty-four. It says, Yahweh said unto them, My meat is to do the will of Him that sent me. And to finish his work, man. All right. Now you go go into that word work. This is Yahweh Shai speaking once again. All right. In the Greek is uh, ergon, which means business employment that which uh, anyone is occupied. All right. So you gotta you gotta do the employment, man. Yahweh Shai did it. If Yahweh Shai is the example, he was he was always about the work of the Lord, man. All right. That's what he came on the scene to show this is what my, my disciples got to be, man. This is how my disciples got to be. They got to be like me. His work was to do the will of his father, all right? And that's our work, man. That's why we go out week in and week out, man, all right? That's why we labor and do this labor of love. That's why we keep pushing, man, the sincere brothers, all right? Giving the Lord no rest, man, all right? You got to give him no rest until he, until he gives us the reward, until he says, you know what? All right, you can clock out. Uh, here's your promotion. Here's your, your uh, here's your package, man. Here's your uh, here's your prom uh, um, your uh, your uh, raise. All right, which is the kingdom of heaven. Your raise is the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, it ain't nothing cardinal. You want to work. Uh, you want to work hard for Esau. You got people that literally don't come to camp. All right, just so that they can work more for Esau. It's not like you have to do it. All right, you got people that literally that work. You know, uh, uh, Monday through Friday, they go get extra extra uh, 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 jobs. So that they could work to gain monetary, uh, 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 um, you know, wages, man. That's that's crazy. If the Lord's giving you your daily bread with your nine to five that you got from Monday to Friday, how are you gonna take away from the Lord's business just so you could do more and build up Esau's business, man? You know, that's how you know you're not carnal, man. I mean, so like, that's how you know you're not spiritual, okay? Because you rather see the uh, the benefits in the carnal level, all right? Not realizing that the spiritual benefits 
is it, it outweighs the carnal a uh, hundredfold, man. Okay, so this is of uh, uh, Revelations, Revelation chapter twenty-two, verse. Uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse um, 12. It says, And behold, once again, it's Yahweh Shai. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So the Lord's going to give you your reward according to your according to your business, according to your employment, according to how you were, how you were conducting yourself, how you was benefiting the kingdom, man. All right? It's, it, it's just like on a carnal level. If you're a good worker, guess what? You get a raise. If you're not a good worker, you don't get a raise. You know, if you're a great worker, you get a promotion. All right? If you're not, you know, if you're a horrible worker, you get you get laid off. So Yahweh Shai, he's not, un the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not unrighteous to forget your, forget your works, man. He's telling you right here, look, I'm going to give you according to how your work shall be. All right? But if you want to be lazy, man, if you don't want to go at this as a business, you know, this is a hey, this, you know, this is a covenant, man. Agreement. You do this for me, I'm gonna do this for you. And what we're doing for the Lord is really <laughs> it's our reasonable service, like the scripture says, because what he's gonna give us doesn't even outweigh, it doesn't even compare to what we des uh, um deserve, man. Okay. Because here it is, you work, you know, all year and you get a raise. And, and, and a raise that the um that the that your employer might seem you know all right he worked this hard you know blah 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 I'm gonna give him like a seven percent raise whatever all right and you might be happy with that the Lord is gonna give you a raise that you don't even deserve <laughs> like you don't even deserve the amount that he's about to give us man which is the kingdom all right and, but but once again man you gotta go at this as as you know what I'm working for the Heavenly Father, man. I'm working for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I'm I'm in this build, I'm in this, you know, uh this body. I'm trying to build, man. I'm trying to build with the Lord so that he can reward me, man. And he said he's gonna reward us, man. All right. So, you know, with that, this uh Lord willingness is edifying. You know, uh just you know, remember this is a business, this is the Heavenly Father's business, you know. And at the end of it, he's gonna give us a reward, man. But you gotta work towards that. You gotta be a hard worker in this truth, man. A hard, diligent worker. Give all diligence, man. All right. So with that, Shalom.